Hello and welcome to another video of machine learning do it yourself. In this tutorial we're going to talk about multiple linear regression. Please recall that in the last video we, we talked about the flowchart for linear regression model and I'm going to quickly walk you through just a recap. So we understood intense the data even we started very small, we're going to expand the model which we created in our previous video. So we trained the model, we tested the model, and now we are going to do an iterative process, and this is where we are in this video. We're going to take the script which we had the last time, and we are going to enhance the script enhance the model to take more variables and please remember that if the number of predictor variables are more than one then it's a multiple linear model linear regression model so uh, once you have multiple variables added is the model predicting satisfactory if no then we again do the creative process and it is yes then we deploy so deployment is not it going to be discussed some time till we get an understanding of all different kinds of uh, predictive models both unsupervised and supervised uh, and then we are going to focus on deployment but for now uh, let's look at multiple linear regression model please note that in our last video we had this model and uh, let's do a quick summary on spend value let's see what it shows So spend value summary, it shows in the spread. But please note that there's only one value and that is why all the first quarter, median, third quarter and the maximum is 1872, which is rounded off. It does not make sense in simple linear regression model to do a summary, but definitely when we go to the multiple linear regression models, it makes more sense. We will see as we do this exercise. Let's take a look at the data and being a data scientist, now you should look at the data in a different perspective. You probably have to make data as your friend, your, you know, your stuff, your hanging out method, uh, you know, in the evening should be data. Looks at, look at data, you know, data is something which is very, very, critical in today's business as I mentioned before and data is considered as new oil for the business. So we are working as I said on the first six records and let's add job. Please note that for these first six records the job type basically job is self-employed. So the predictor variable would be variables would be job and income with the sales amount which is we are, we are considering as spend or that customer as the target variable. Going back in here and first we are going to load the data which we have done but let's do it again. Next this income data frame we are going to add job so this data is now showing job and we should not have done 12 let's pick only six it's only six records let's re-execute it and 
let's look at the income df so six records job is self employed and spent now we have to change the model and retrain the model with lm lm is the linear model to add job as well as part of predictor variable we are going to use assign job and let's execute the model so interesting problem huh the problem is that it says contrasts can be applied only to factors with two or more levels this means that look at the job here it's only one type of value which is self employed that's why the model is unable to understand the variations and it says oh you can do that so in order to avoid this error we are going to expand our analysis to 12 records number of records 12 and i'm going to include the employed type as well job and then see what happens in the model in order to do the change go back there you go so you see how iterative the process is and then select the value still here and run it now there is no error because now there are 12 records with two different variations for job let's do a data frame now this is going to be the test data frame and this would need to include job as well so let's add it And let's pass this new income part of this spent value as a predictor. And you remember, <coughs> sorry, predict model and new value to be predicted. And let's see the spent value. And the summary. So it does not make sense because there is only one value. Again, I, as I mentioned, if I increase the horizon and here I need to add two values let's see here So instead of predicting only one value, now I'm predicting two values of spend for income 150 and employed and income 150 for self-employed. Now you can see the difference. So what it says is for 150 and employed, the value is 2143, while for 150 and self-employed, value of spend would be 1813 this tells us that an employed person is expected to spend more as compared to a person who is self-employed 
Now, summary for spend value would give you a different result. You could see the various values here are different because obviously there are two different values. So minimum is 1814 and maximum is 214. This does not give enough information. Let's dig further. In order to understand further, let's do summary of model LM. It gives you a lot of values. Let's take a look. So this is the summary of model. It gives it gives you the minimum. It's a negative. May not be a negative spend. And you no, know, this is more important here. Residual standard error is 82.81. Multiple R squared is 9853 and adjusted R squared is 0.982. What it means is you can expect an error up to 82.81. So 82.81 dollars for the spend can be in error. That means it gives you a range. That means whatever the value is predicting, for example, 21.43, can be plus or minus 82.81 based on the model which we have created which is good but multiple r squared which is your it, it mostly you want it to be closer to 1 which is 98.9853 this means the model can be up to 98 percent correct which is good but obviously we haven't had the all data what's in the file fed into the model so as and when you feed more data this value is changing and from now onwards we're going to put a tab on it let's discuss what is root mean squared value and how is it helpful in understanding the model performance